Hello everyone, my name is Jun Jun Zhang. I'm a senior biomass manager at the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research located in Toronto, Canada. The title of my talk is WFPM, a novel workflow package manager to enable collaborative workflow development where reusable and shareable packages. Here's the agenda. We start with workflow development challenges and ICGC Argo best practices. I will then introduce WFPN, what it is, how it helps addressing the challenges. Next, we'll take a closer look at WFPN internals, how it's structured, how it works. Then I'll do a live demo to create two workflow packages. One uses the other as dependency. We'll then have a brief comparison with other similar initiatives for code sharing. Finally, I'll highlight some future work. The development of WFPN started from ICG's Argo initiative. So let me briefly introduce here. ICG's Argo aims to uniformly analyze specimen from 100,000 donors with high quality clinical data in order to address outstanding questions that are vital to the quest to defeat cancer. In order to achieve ambitious goals of delivering positional oncology knowledge derived from clinical and genomic data, uniform data analysis is added to crux. Uniform analysis on large, complex, and globally distributed data requires analytic workflow to address these challenges. Repeatability, same analytic method on same data must produce same result by different users. Portability, same workflow code should be able to execute on different environment, whether it's on the cloud, HPC, or a single VM. Very often, we observe workflow developers have to duplicate the code for common tasks in different workflow code bases, there's no good solutions for code reuse and sharing. Collaboration amongst distributed team members is hard. When the DAX clean mechanism to decouple components and put them back again. Finally, testing is desirable, but often takes backseat. We need a systematic approach where testing is an integral part. To address these challenges, ICG's Argo has come up with best practices following five guiding principles, reproducible, we will containerize all software tools, tag every container image viewed, and associated with workflow code release, portable. With containerized tools, portability is become much easier. We will use cross-platform workflow languages and orchestration systems. Composable, we break down big tasks into smaller tasks, independently version and release every component and its associated container image. A release tool is immutable and guarantees safe import into workflow code base. A workflow can be imported as sub-workflow to build larger workflows. Findable, we resist the workflow component into public tool registries such as Drugstore. Workflow components are also released as GitHub. Testable, every component must have tests. Continuous integration process must be enabled to ensure automatic execution. This is a schematic diagram of our BWMM alignment workflow. It follows our best practices, breaking down the workflow into small single purpose tools that are independently versioned. The component for input data provisioning and output uploading can be imported into other workflows easily without code duplication. When one component bumps up a new version, the workflow will get a new version bump as well. This is very helpful for tracking workflow reproducibility. Now, what is WFPM? WFQN stands for Workflow Package Manager. It consists of two parts. The first is designed to organize workflow code and metadata to create workflow package and how packages are versioned, released, and imported as dependencies. Second is the CRI tool, provides extensive support for package development and management. WFPM makes composability as easy as plug and play. Packages developed by anyone can be freely imported into others' workflow code base. To our knowledge, there's no other solutions exist for workflow packaging. WIPM imposes a highly streamlined process with automations at several key steps, such as workflow code template generation, automated build, testing, and releasing. Without much work needed from developer side, WIPM CLI significantly lowers the barrier to develop standard workflow packages and ensure best practices are followed. Here's the directory layout of a WFPM project and its packages. Name of the project here, my WFPM project, is also the name of the source code repository. The .wfpm file keeps the project configuration. 
GitHub action code for automated continuous integration and continuous delivery is generated automatically when the project was created. This enables automated testing and packaging releasing. You will be able to see this in action during the live demo in just a bit. In a package, there's a pkg.json file, keeps some basic metadata information. Then there's a workflow script, provide entry point of the package. Docker file is used to create associated container image. The test directory contains checker script that launches test jobs. Tests can be added as needed. The WFPR modules directory is for installing dependent uh, packages. WFPM packages are released as GitHub release assets as shown in this screenshot. With this, there's no need to have a centralized package registry. One single Git repository is able to handle multiple workflow packages. This feature helps avoid having to maintain large number of repositories despite residing in the same repository. Each package is still completely independent from each other with its own deployment and the release cycle. A release package can be imported by anyone into their own workflow code base. Here we take a closer look at how dependencies are installed and imported. The package's dependency is declared in the pkg.json file. Main entry point script is where the dependencies are imported. WFPM CLI tool detects the dependency and works out dependency of dependency recursively, and then download and install all the dependencies, direct and indirect, under the directory called WFPR modules. When a dependency is imported, WFPM requires specifying the full version of the package. This yields at least two advantages. Firstly, it provides an extra safeguard for reproducibility. Secondly, the well-known diamond dependency problem is non-existent in WFPM. Different versions of the same package can be imported and coexist without any trouble. Similar approach was also taken by the Go language. By now we know how WRPM packages are released and imported. This diagram illustrates how packages can fit together to create a large workflow by composition. Here's a summary of WRPM CLI tool usage information. Just to quickly highlight a couple of commands. In it is to create a new WRPM project. Install is to install dependencies. New is to create a new package. Next word is to start working on a new version of a package. Test is to run tests. Now demo time. In this demo, we'll be creating two packages, one for demo FastQC, that is based on Bioformatics tool of FastQC. The other one is demo FastQC workflow package that combines the first package and then the other existing cleanup work there package to clean up intermediate files. Here I have two repository created, one for each package. Let's start with empty directory. First, run WIPN init command, which will collect some basic information about the WIPN project. Now we confirm the provide information. With that, the template has been created. Now we can push to the GitHub site, refresh the GitHub repository, you should see the code being created. As you can see, the continued integration and continued delivery process has been kicked off automatically by GitHub Action. Now let's look at the generated skeleton for the project. Here is the information about the project, and here's the license file. Now CICD is finished. Everything looks good. With that, we are ready to create our first package by running the WFPM new tool command. In this demo, we will accept all default values as input to create the package. This includes your name, email, initial version, base Docker image, etc. Now the package template has been generated. Let's take a quick look. Here's the package JSON file that records the name, version, entry point of the package as we specified earlier. This is a Docker file, which uses the specified base image containing the FastQC Bioformatics tool. Main.nf is the workflow script that serves as an entry point. It wraps a Python script that actually calls the FastQC tool. Now let's push the code to GitHub on a package development branch. Upon receiving the push, GitHub automatically displays the new branch information. 
Switch into the new branch. You can see the CI-CD process has been triggered automatically. This process including building Docker image and pushing the image to the GitHub container registry, then executing auto-generated tests. Here are the auto-generated checker script and tests. The checker is responsible to launch packages main entry point, then compare the result to pre-prepared expected output. The test is passed when the match, otherwise it's failed. This auto-generated tip method is just to showcase how it may be implemented. You will need to customize it for your own package testing. Now all tests passed, let's create a pull request for code review. Just like any other software development, you can assign reviewers as needed. In this demo, we assume everything is good. Let's proceed to merge the PR. You may choose to release the package right after the merge. Simply put the special release instruction in the comment. The merge will trigger continuous integration and continuous delivery processes again. Upon successful testing, a new package will be released. This is the package table. Package release JSON recording all metadata as release assets. Here is the content hash code of the package table. Now let's create a second workflow package that uses our first package as dependency. Similar to the first package, we first run the wfpn init command to create this project skeleton and push it to GitHub. We then run the wfpn new workflow command. When asked for dependencies, we first put in the existing demo util package and then the package URI of the first package we created earlier. With all the information provided, WFVN CLI tool will start to download, testing, and install the dependencies. Here's the generated code. Package.json file records the package name, version, and dependencies. Main workflow script imports dependencies from the installed packages. Similar to the first package, Checker is responsible to launch the main entry point and compare the result with what expected. Here are the two test files with input parameters and expected output. Although the auto-generated workflow package code is fully functional, when developing your own package, you will need to update the main script, the checker script, and test according to your own needs. Now we can push the code to GitHub to trigger the CI-CD process. When the tests are finished, we can create a PR and start the code view process. In this demo, we assume everything is good. We proceed to merge and release right away. When tests are successful, our second workflow package will be released by GitHub Actions. Following the best practices, ICCC Argo DCC Biomatics team has developed five core workflows. Over 50 packages have been developed. Nine of them are used in all workflows without any code duplication. Work has begun to collaborate with globally distributed Argo working group members to develop WFPM packages for more analytic workflows. Although to our knowledge, there's no other workflow package management solution available, some workflow code sharing initiatives do exist, such as NFCore, CWL Dev, CWL Tools, and Snake Maze wrappers. Here we compare them with WFPN, taking into account eight different features, single step tool module, sub workflow support, development full lifecycle support, advanced dependency management, individual module versioning, individual module release artifact, being workflow language agnostic, and active development. Please note, in this context, module and package are interchangeable terms. As shown here, WFPM provides most feature completion and is in active development. Finally, here are some possible future development, support for other container technology, such as Singularity and Podman, support for other container registries such as Poi and Docker Hub, support for other source code version control system such as GitLab, Bitbucket, integration with DocStore to register WFPM packages, input parameter schema support, and auto-generated package usage documentation. Although currently only NetFlow is supported, 
it is possible to add support for Twitter and Scapel. Last but not least, building the community within ICC's Argo and beyond around both WRPM development and WRPM-based workflow package development. With that, I'll end my presentation with acknowledgement to OSCR, ICC's Argo, and the Government of Ontario for support and funding. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to take questions.